Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. We are moments away from kickoff, and we've got a good one on tap between the Carolina Panthers and the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Open back in 2003, have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Carolina Panthers and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers, they've come in on a nice run of recent form, four wins out of five. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get it. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This will be fielded at the 8. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. They're led out by their big-bodied electric quarterback, Cam Newton. Cam has all the skills that you're looking for. The arm that can do everything. The ability to run hard to bring down because of his size. But the joy that he plays the game, I think that's his stock and trade. That's his calling card. That's what sets him apart from other players. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of Let's each go, other while Let's controlling go. the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Thomas has got it, complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot, and this will remain a scoreless game. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. 
And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, now they'll start three yards shy of midfield after that long 57-yard miss. On first and 10, here's Wentz. And he's got the hook up to Moore. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. A quick throw there out to Jeffrey. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get back. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now wins. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 27-yard line. The numbers for him from a week ago, five catches, 51 yards. And he was able to get open there, but that's not always easy against this bunch defensively. We are deep enough into the season where numbers count. This is the number one rated defense in the NFL. He'll have a tough time. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. On the run, it's Pumphrey. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. From the gun on third down, wins. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to work really, really well for the guys who threw it. Only a yard that time, second and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. They're held again, and do we have a goal line stand brewing? It's third and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders with touchdown number seven on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Zerline good with a PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Newton. And Thomas has it. 
And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 15. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. And that will be incomplete. That makes them now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the early going. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 20. Shotgun now for Wentz. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Wentz. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? That's on Lane Johnson, the former top five pick. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Wentz now to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot positions. more than normal. Put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. That's going to set him back five yards. McCaffrey following the penalty. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. They'll try the air now with Newton. He gets it to Thomas. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Newton now to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's right. That's I was waiting for them to get there first because the momentum they carry from last week, unbelievable. They had a snowman, eight sacks. You were surprised that it took this long, and this isn't that long, truthfully. <laughs> but here's the thing. If you've seen that on tape, your offensive line is going to have to ask for help. Tight end has to stay in. If you use a fullback, keep him in. Make sure you have extra people to try and keep your quarterback upright. Didn't work on that play. Now this is gonna carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. On first and 10, it's Sanders. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. 
Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And that's complete to Jeffrey. Seven yards there at a first down. On first down, it's Sanders. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage with a flag down here to boot. So they may back up further. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Working from the gun, Wentz. Looking left sideline, incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They run with Pumphrey, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and they're going to be staring at a third and long here. On third and long, it's Wentz. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Give him 19 on the play, but they will still come up a bit short. And now it's fourth down. We gotta step it up. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Doug Patterson keeping the offense on the field. They're going on fourth down. Wentz to throw for it on fourth. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. Throwing on first is Wentz. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. On second and seven, Wentz. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. The Eagles on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Here's Wentz to throw. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here, we do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. On second and 11 now. Newton, wide open receiver complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll run it now out of the gun. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. 
They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Throwing is Newton. And he's got his target. That's more. A good-looking drive so far for the Panthers and a first down here. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Out of the gun, Newton. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. The Panthers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Offense. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Newton now to throw. That's caught. It's Thomas. No gain there on the completion. It'll be second down. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. To throw is Newton. And he's got his man. It's Samuel. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel. His fourth touchdown on the year as they are now on the board here in the first half. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Ryan suck up on for the point after. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. From the 38, Wentz going right side here, and that's complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Wentz on the draw, leaves it for Sanders. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. It's a second down run with Sanders. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down, stopped at the Panthers' 42. Wentz to throw on third and one. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 31-yard line. Wentz now 12 of 16 thus far. It's first and 10. Wentz on the give to Sanders. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now the second down throw on target. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Everybody likes to see the long ball thrown, but when you throw it underneath and you see someone catch the ball, secure it, make their moves, and then turn it into bigger plays, that's a lot of fun to watch as well.
Now Zerline on to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to seven. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Space to maneuver at the 40. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. As he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now Newton, and his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore. That'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's Newton. Open man is Samuel, complete. That catch good for five, it's third down. The Panthers on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Throwing again is Newton. Got his target, Samuel. Give him 18, it's a Carolina first down. But well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play yo, yo, out on the yo, perimeter, yo, can play yo, yo. out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. That really sets him back. A loss of six. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him five yards there, and it'll bring up second down. They fake the give, Newton. He'll take a shot for the end zone, and that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see any. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up a live ball. And now look at him go. The 30. Pass the 20. And the Eagles are in for six. We talk about it a lot. One of the dangers of the long field goal, you got to kind of hit it low and drive it. That makes it susceptible to a block here. Not only do they block it, they return it. And how about how well they did on the return where they didn't create a penalty? Oftentimes in that type of a scrambling situation, someone will clip, someone will block below the waist, right? You name it. In this case, though, that didn't happen. They formed it up, and he took it all the way back for a touchdown. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Getting set to go again here. Cam Newton marches back onto the field. And how does he rally the troops, so to speak? He's played well, but they're down big on the scoreboard. How does he get his guys going? To make sure they understand it's not a me game, it's a team game. Everyone has to come together. Everyone has to up the level of play a little bit, including himself, and find a way to make some plays in order to give them a little bit of a spark and rally the team. We'll see if they can indeed rally down big on the scoreboard right now. Newton looking to throw on third and one. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A shotgun snap for Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. 
Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Carolina. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Pulled in at the 24. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Carson Wentz, along with his offense, heading back out there for their next possession. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first-half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. A final shot before half for Wentz. And that is incomplete. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. And they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. From there, we're off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half... Let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This will be taken about the 12, and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going. And down he goes, a coverage sack. Took too long to get rid of it. Brian Burns able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go into the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Here's Sanders. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole. Third and long. From the gun on third down, Wentz. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Come on, QB, come on. They'll run on first down. Pierce. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Make no mistake about it, that's a really dangerous place to run that play. But the way that they're spreading the defense horizontally, you've got to think that as the game... And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Newton. He can run for it, and he will. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. Ready, ready. Now it's the backup Greer over the middle, and it's incomplete. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Now a draw play to McCaffrey, and that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Gets through and now an opening. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. And he is finally taken down, but not before he gets it to the Eagles 13. Great run there, but it looked like they were going to have him for the stop. He was able to push through. They didn't wrap up defensively. No, they didn't. All credit to the runner for making it happen, breaking through some contact and going a long way. But the defensive guys, when they watch this on tape, they're not going to be real happy with themselves. They had a great opportunity that they let slip through their hands. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run it here with Pierce. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They go again with Pierce. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Throwing on third down, Greer toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This has kind of been the story all night long, hasn't it? An inability to really get much done on third downs, and it's costing them. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and the drive will wind up yielding three. So this time, the protection holds up for him just fine, and he's able to bang it through. I think their special teams coach got the point across. He gave him a pretty good earful after the block earlier, and this time, there's no penetration, so they're able to pick up three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They're out in front. Last time, they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. On first and 10, here's Wentz. And that's complete to Sanders. It's a four-yard pickup, and it'll be second down four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six firing quickly here and that's complete 
And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Now Wentz on third down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. Get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. Yards. Okay. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. On, force an incompletion and force another punt. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Greer, and the throw there gonna be incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback, but when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Let's go, boys. Let's go. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. Working from the gun, Wentz. And Jeffrey's got it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Wentz now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. They'll run here with Pumphrey. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play. Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Zerline now for the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A drive that time of six plays, and it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with the touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Greer and the Panthers set to go first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start on the ground with McCaffrey, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Greer now on second down. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Official foul. Roughing the passer, defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. 
And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. Nine yards on the carry there, but it'll be fourth down now. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. And no return possible here as they angle this one Here out of go. bounds. Here Here's Carson Here we Wentz go. now with the rest of his offensive unit heading onto the field. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they made some good adjustments, so he's fallen off since. You have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? And rocking and rolling. They came out, made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And once more, he was looking for Alshon Jeffrey, and it's second down. Throwing on second and long. Wentz looking middle, and it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Wentz. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Fielded at the 20. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Carolina getting set to take the field. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. Looking to throw again on second down. Greer. Thomas has got it. Complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. First down, Greer. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. I think you'd agree that looked like the right call from up here. No doubt about it. What everyone has to understand is that the officials are going to be right on the play each and every time. You may not like the call, but they're usually spot on. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The intended receiver there, Ian Thomas, to throw on second and ten. Greer, but it'll be second down. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. They wound up getting nothing out of that second down completion. So now here's third and 10. They'll run. This is Pierce. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Greer on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. 
Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. And Thomas has it. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. On the jet sweep, here comes Moore. A good red zone run there, nine yards, and it'll be second and goal. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Greer under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Lightning speed there from the safety, Devin McCourty on the sack. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Well, this ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you, you got to fill. This is fill time for guys like you and I. But yeah, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is, and I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to have to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday. Which was also which impressive. Which was also very yeah. impressive. But this game, how they've done it, offense, defense, special teams, they put it all together, and I gotta tell you, I am beyond impressed by what I've seen from this team. The Eagles on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. Here it's third and three. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First and 10 at the 38 yard line. To throw is Wentz. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Timmy Jernigan with a sack. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole and the quarterback got sacked. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now Wentz. It's caught by Sanders. The Eagles on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. He's going to rifle one deep. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. They'll get 34 yards there. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. First and 10. On the counter now, it's Sanders. As Sanders has it poked free. And the Panthers have recovered. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. An opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. And that looks to be eight officially, so second and two. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Automatic first down. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now a first down throw, Greer. Now they go screen, it's complete. A nice move he had, but can't break away. And he's brought down just inside the 30. Defense. So that one will be accepted. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and 10. You must be getting tired of seeing me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
On the carry, this is Pierce. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Greer sets to throw. He gets it to Thomas. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. To throw on third down. Greer. And this is going to be incomplete. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Here's Greer. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Panthers use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do with good field position. You make the other side pay when you don't have far to go for the score. Extra point try now for Suckup. And that'll cut the lead down now to 18. So that drive, four plays. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Mike, 58, right there. They'll run it now with Pumphrey. Go, go, it's right. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle go, first down. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now a play fake here on first down. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. They'll run. It's Sanders. And able to work his way down to the 16. Nine good yards here on the run, and now third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, look at this. Wentz going to throw. And his pass incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield. And it's third and five. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. On third down, they turn to Sanders. He's going to be marked down very close to the first down marker, but it looks like he's a yard short. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did.
So for Philadelphia, the win moves them up to five and two now on the year. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, the loss will drop them to four and two on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's